Hello, everyone. So uh, as for the schedule, like we mentioned before, we'll be starting with the Django installation and the environment setup. So whoever is present, can you please start your Anaconda Navigator? You can go to your Start menu, search for Anaconda, and it should give you the Anaconda menu or the Anaconda Navigator option, or just Anaconda, and it should give you a, a UI uh that allows you to see the various options please try to see if you can start that i'll obviously be showing you via a shared screen but if you can try it in the meantime please do so we'll give it maybe three or four more minutes and let's see if more people join in so that we do not have to repeat stuff multiple times i think we can start i'll start by sharing my screen um, so you folks can let me know if you can see my screen. With, uh, with Ubuntu, what I do is I launch my Anaconda Navigator from the command line. But for folks on Windows, you should be able to do it from your start menu. Please search for or look for Anaconda. And it should give you the option to start the Anaconda Navigator. Uh, it takes a few moments, so please wait, please be patient. Uh, uh, let it load up completely. And you should be able to see something that looks like this. Uh, you have uh, a few tabs on the left, and you have all these apps icons that you see in the center. Uh, you, sh you may have seen this before based on the Yaksh videos that you've been looking at. So you have a spider option here. Uh, which we will also use in our case uh, for the coding purposes. Apart from that, uh, we'll also learn how to launch a new Python environment to be able to install certain uh, uh, packages. For example, Django is a Python package. Basically, it's a Python plugin or a package, whatever you call it. And you should be able to uh, install it using an environment. Uh, an environment is an isolated uh, file directory which allows you to only install certain packages in that environment so that it does not affect your complete file system on your PC or your system. Um, this allows you to isolate stuff. So for example, if I'm working on multiple projects, I can have one environment corresponding to each project, which means that uh, any requirements or packages that I use in one project do not get mixed up or do not cause problems with the packages of another project, right? So we'll start off with that, uh, not to worry. Uh, but before that, uh, I'll switch back to the Zoom window to see if uh, folks have already launched the Anaconda Navigator. In case you're still facing issues, if it's still taking time, please let me know. You can use other IDs as long as you're comfortable with it. We do not mind for folks who do not do not use a lot of IDEs or text editors. The spider editor is a very decent uh, editor in itself as well. It gives you a lot of features in build. So we recommend that. But if you are already familiar with something, completely up to you to use your own IDE. Um, in terms of environments, uh, again, I will be using or creating an environment using the Anaconda system. So uh, I'd recommend that you also follow along. But if you already know how to create and manage Python environments, again, you can do it on your own, no problem. Anybody having any issues with, uh, with any of the uh, Anaconda stuff? Can, were you able to launch? Were you able to start Anaconda correctly? Uh, Please let me know. The Anaconda installer looks something like this. I'll keep the chat on the side so that I can see you folks. But it looks something like this. OK, no no, no issues at the moment. So I think everybody is up to speed. So once you're at the Anaconda Navigator, click on the Environments tab on the left. I hope everyone can see the screen pretty well. If, if it's not exactly visible, please let me know. So you click on the environments tab and you can see that uh, there's yes, something called base uh, root written here. Can I maximize it? No, unfortunately, I can't maximize anything in terms of text. So you'll have to just follow along. 
uh, once you click on the environments tab on the left, you will see something called base roots in bracket. This is basically the default Python environment that you get once you've already installed Anaconda. All uh, packages that come by default, all Python packages that come by default with Anaconda are directly and by default installed into this environment. So what you see on the right, the list is the, the packages that uh, are already installed. So for example, some, some uh, yeah, some def like like some that are usually very useful are requests. It's a it's it's a package that allows you to make HTTP requests to the web uh, on your own. Uh, there is also something called NumPy, uh, which is uh, a Python package that allows you to work with matrices and and uh, data sets uh, faster than what you do with a usual Python uh, list or dictionaries. You also have pandas. Uh, which is another package again. So this just I'm just trying to show you that these packages are default installed by default. Uh, you can also install or remove any packages you want to. I'd recommend you not do that right now, but it's possible. Please click on the arrow on the right of base, and it'll show you a few options. It'll show you Open Terminal. It'll show you Open Python. It'll show you Open IPython, and it'll show you Open Jupyter Notebook. Uh, Please check if you can open terminal and it should open a, a console or a terminal on your native uh, uh, screen, like, like your native OS should give you the default terminal uh, that you have. So in my case, because I'm already uh, there, uh, I, had a, I had a terminal open, it's opened one for me. Uh, and this is how it looks like. So I'll, I can maximize this so you can see. It'll give me a command prompt uh, that is a blinking cursor and it'll, it'll give the base option on the side. Uh, the base in brackets on the side that is on the left uh, lets you know that this is the current active, right? Then that looks different. Uh, then it means that it's either not active or it's either uh, a different Python environment. So please let me know if you have reached this point. I will, I will uh, close this terminal because I don't need it. I'll repeat what I did. I'll go to my Anaconda Navigator. I will click on, I reach the Home tab. So I'll click on the Environments tab on the left. I click on the arrow on the base environment and say Open Terminal, right? Uh, this is usually uh, the point where things get a little tricky because consoles are different in Windows and in Linux. If you have any issues, please let me know if it will obviously not look the same. So please do not expect things to look the same. Uh, please let me know if the console doesn't open or you are not able to see the base on the left. And I'll also wait in chat right now. Uh, in case you have any issues, please type it out in chat or please unmute yourself and let us know that there's an issue. I will not understand by default. Okay, so I'm assuming that you have reached the point where you can see a terminal, right? And the terminal is open and uh, it should work fine, right? So uh, to, to check if everything has worked fine at the moment, till this point, can you please type in Python space hyphen V should work, right? So yeah, so Python should give you a command prompt here, uh, but uh, it basically lets me understand if, if Python is installed. So uh, maybe not hyphen V, wait one second. I'll exit, just say Python hyphen H. Yeah, does Python hyphen H work for you? If Python hyphen H works, means you have Python installed and the environment is working correctly. Python hyphen H is the command. Yeah, Python hyphen hyphen version also works. It gives you the version ID, yes. I have 3.8, you may have something more advanced because Python versions have now reached 3.9, 3.10. So you should have something different maybe, but uh, this should give you an idea. So please let me know if that worked. Python hyphen hyphen version, Python hyphen hyphen help.
Yeah, the Python edge didn't work for me, but the Python uh, version worked, and they are showing 3.88 kind of thing. Cool. Okay. So that means you have Python installed and it's working. Yeah. Uh, let's see if we can do something to check if this is ace. I was just trying to check if I can import pandas, but that's fine. So uh, this should work. Uh, I hope everyone can see base, which means that you have the base active. If that is not visible, uh, installations can be a little tough. So please make sure that you have base on the left. Uh, yes, I think so. Yes, I know what we can do to check if this is exactly the one that we want. So you can type in pip space list. And what that does is uh, it gives you an uh, PIP stands for Python installer or Python package manager. It's basically a Python package manager, which allows you to install Python packages. Uh, it's the command line utility to install Python packages. PIP list will give you uh, the list of all the packages installed. So it should give you a very long, really long list of stuff. And if you can see something like Zopi interface at the very end, or if you can see something like scikit-learn in between, then uh, it is a, it, it, it gives you a good idea that you are in the Anaconda's default environment because these don't come by default. These uh, uh, require extra installations. In your case, you are in the right place, right? So I'll again wait in the chat to see if everyone is at that point. So Python space hyphen hyphen help, Python space hyphen hyphen version, then pip space list, right? pip space list should give you a list, long list of uh, packages. It should contain something like Zopi at the very end or maybe say pandas in between. If that shows up, uh, it means that you folks have the right environment and you have Python installed and you also have pip, which is the package manager, which we'll, we'll be using to install Django as well, right? So cool, I guess I see a few thing, few folks saying that they are able to do this. Uh, at the moment, what I will do is I will not use uh, the base uh, environment, but please do not do this. Uh, I'm doing this for my personal uh, purposes because I already have Django installed. So it'll, it'll be pointless if I install Django on top of that. It'll not give you the right uh, outputs. I just create my own uh, environment, which is... Uh, You don't have to do this. Please do not do anything of this sort. Con is not available. Okay, fine. Give me a minute to set this up so that I have a separate uh, environment. So you can see that the name changed here. This is because I'm using a different environment. So you don't have to do all of this. You just need to be ready with pip install Django. Right? This is the command. Uh, I'll comment it out so that it doesn't get installed right now. But this is the this is the command that you need to run. Please run this command and please tell me if it ran successfully. Uh, for folks asking if you can install things on uh, VS Code, etc., I am unfortunately not a guy who's used VS Code a lot. Uh, it is very probable that VS Code is doing the same kind of management for you. Uh, it will also create an environment and install it for you. I do not know how VS Code does this. So if you are already, if you if you've done this before, if you're already aware of it, please go ahead. Uh, otherwise, I'd recommend that you please follow these steps because it is easier to sort of manage and uh, troubleshoot if things go wrong, right? If things go wrong on VS Code, because I'm not a user, I'll be of very little help. 
Yes, it should take maybe a couple of minutes just to download and set it up on the environment. If nothing shows up in red and nothing shows up in capital error, then I guess uh, you should be good to go. It should say that, you know, successfully installed Django with this version and it also installs some other packages, etc. cetera. Uh, please make sure that you have done all of this. I'll give you a screen share of what happens when uh, when you actually install. Yeah. So when I say pip install Django, uh, it basically goes, downloads the package from uh, the package repository that is hosted online. It installs stuff, gets a few dependencies, and then uh, finally tells you that, you know, there is something that is successfully installed and it should it should tell you that django is successfully installed uh, there could be warnings like these for example i'm using an older version of pip so it gives me a warning in yellow warnings are fine as long as they don't affect your code uh, something in red is bad news so if you have something called if if it says error or something shows up in red then something has gone wrong and we can try to figure it out but otherwise this should be pretty straightforward so it'll, it'll show a screen like this, download, install, and you should be good to go. Uh, now, if you go back and do pip list, so let's clear the screen just for visibility. Pip list, and it should show you. So obviously yours will have a larger list. Mine is, is doesn't have the additional packages, but somewhere down there in D, you will have Django with the version 4.1.1. Please make sure that you have this after you have installed and typed pip list. If you can't see this, things have gone wrong. We'll try to figure them out. Ah, okay, cool. Um, Arvind, yes, like Prathamesh suggested, please close your Anaconda Navigator or uh, nav uh, your Anaconda UI. Please reopen your Anaconda UI by saying run as administrator. After that, everything that you do will be sort of with uh, administrator privileges. So you should be able to then install stuff in that way. Yes, pip list will show a very long list. You can scroll to the point where, uh, so these are alphabetically arranged. Please scroll to uh, the D section and you should be able to see Django because Django starts with D. Cool. Uh, now that we have Django set up, uh, we will try to set up uh, a directory structure for you to follow along so that you can set up your uh, uh, your Django project, right? Yes, it should be Django 4.1.1 or something of that sort. Uh, if you've already, uh, if, if things have gone correctly, you should be able to see it in pip list, right? Uh, so we've, we've hosted a small GitHub uh, project mm -hmm. for the Django lesson that we'll be doing. I just open it up because I keep forgetting the name of the project and I want to make sure that we are you doing it correctly so that you folks don't get confused. Uh, let me see where is where is the project. Right. Uh, so this is a project. I'll share the link right now in in the chat. Uh, the whole project is already pre-built in that uh in that repository there are two options here uh, we'll be walking you through all of that code and making you do all of that code and write it out so that you have a successful uh, pretty successful django project that is similar to that one that i've already shared here in the link uh, but it can so happen that folks are not able to type along takes time etc etc so for those folks, you can download and keep it with you. Please do not just copy paste. I mean, uh, you can if you're too slow for, for the whole workshop, but uh, please do not like, uh, do not get diverted from the workshop and keep referring to the code. Please pay attention to the workshop while it's happening today and tomorrow. Uh, the, the link that I mentioned is always online. So you can download it even after the workshop. So it's not like it's going to go away or we're going to close it off. Uh, it is usually always available 100% of the time. So you can even download it later if you want to. If you think you're going to be too slow typing, you can keep it with you as reference so that you know you don't uh, uh, 
fall behind right um cool so the idea here is that we'll be we'll be creating a small library management app where we build a small interface to manage books and who has issued them and who's taken them outside the library etc so we will uh, we will try to uh, start a similar project uh, with the django tool at the moment right so uh, let's go back to the terminal so you have your terminal here you have django installed at the moment so uh, what we can do from here is we can type in the python command i think so it's django admin right yeah yeah django admin mm -hmm. I you can see that I have not started a Django project for quite some time. Uh, start project library management. Right. So it's pretty long, so it's sort of wrapping over. But the idea is that you type Python, which is the Python command. You uh, type in Django admin, which is the Django uh, sort of command line tool. you then give it the start project command and then you give the name of your application this name can be anything again please follow the names the same way that we are following it here because we uh, we will be will be using the name in in a lot of places in the code so it is better if you use the same name so i'll i'll type out the name here it is library underscore management right this is the project name is not a command please don't type it as a command i'm just typing it out here so that you can see so this is a project name so we'll be our command will look like python space django admin space start project space the, the, app, the, the, the we don't need project we start with django hyphen admin ah just django admin that is why it is not showing up okay great sorry Django admin space start project space library management. Correct. Python is for manage dot py. So I'm sorry. Uh, there's a correction. You can do Django hyphen admin space start project space library underscore management, right? And you press enter. And what it should do is it should uh, create a directory. So I was actually in my default folder. so it created a directory called library management here itself if you if you think that this will not work you should move to a suitable directory somewhere in your in your file and then start it there so you may want to use cd or some similar command and then then run this command right so for example i can go to yes go ahead sir i am uh, getting an error somebody Yes. What is the error? Sir, I have issue. Uh, it says can't open Python. Can't open the file. Uh, yeah. Can you uh, like uh, where's uh, whoever is getting error? Can you write the command in the chat? What command you have written? Oh, uh, any the 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 person facing a problem is saying that it can't open Django admin. Yeah, you don't need Python. You can just just do Django admin. That's fine. Uh, the person facing the error, can they please, can they please put the error in the chat or maybe the command that they used in chat? Okay. No Django settings specified. Did you mean start? Yeah. So uh, please use start project, not start. For for Nivedita who has issues with C drive, uh, Nivedita, you're using Python. Pay Django admin. Uh, you have to use the command Django admin start project only. There's no Python. Vivek, are you? Have you started the terminal using Anaconda, or are you using your own sort of terminal? Okay. Yeah, I mean you already have a typo. If if you're sure that that the typo is not the problem, then please check again. 
yeah once you've run the library management start project command please wait uh, it will not show up in pip list please don't check in pip list uh, please wait after for those who are, who for whom the command run ran successfully please wait for those who didn't please speak up uh, it's difficult to understand whether you're facing a problem or not you can either unmute yourself and say it out loud there's no harm you can also type it out in chat if you're still facing a problem Yashaswini or Yashavini, can you please? Uh, there seems to be that the library management app directory already exists, so you already have it. You don't have to run it multiple times. That's fine. Once is enough. For Nivedita and uh, who was that? Vivek, were you able to run it successfully? Yes, sir. Cool. So Nivedita's problem is solved. Vivek, you were not able to run it, right? Vivek and Fezan have the same kind of problem. Cool. Yes, I'll I'll let you folks know what is supposed to happen once the code runs. A directory called library underscore management is supposed to have been created uh, wherever you are located. So if you are currently in C drive, it should have started up. It should have been created in C drive. Uh, wherever you are, there, there should be one directory that's visible right now. Uh, but for other folks, folks where Django admin is not working. Can you folks let me know if, correct, so most of these folks have that problem. Uh, in that case, I think, yes, even I think virtual NVIDIA deactivated for folks. So for folks saying that Django admin is not a recognized command, can you please again check if your virtual environment is active? How will you check if it is active? You can do a pip list and it should show you a long list with Django installed. Akanksha, your, your problem is not a problem. It's a good problem to have. You already have library management created. So it's fine. Do not run the command multiple times. Django 3 is fine. Okay, pip list is showing. So Abhishek, can you try running Python space hyphen hyphen version? Is Python space hyphen hyphen version running properly? Hello. Sir, uh, what should be done firstly? We have to install the Django application right now. No? You have to install Django application right now, yes. Sir, uh, which version is needed? Uh, 4.0 or 3.0? Anything? Uh, 4.1 is fine. I'll get back to you since you're already you're still working on the installation part. I'll just solve this problem once and then come back to you. Is that fine? Okay, so back to folks with uh, back to folks having the Django hyphen admin command problem. Uh, can you run the Python command? Just type in Python and press enter, and you should you should get a prompt with these three arrows like this. Can you please do that? So, for example, uh, here is my uh, terminal. I type in Python. And it gives me a three line command prompt, a three arrow command prompt like this. Please try to see if you can run Django. And this should work with no problems. It should give you another prompt. Does this work for, this is only for folks who are facing problems with the Django admin command. For others who, for whom already it has worked, uh, please just wait. Let's, let's see if we can solve the problem for folks who are facing the issue at first. Vivek, Abhishek, uh, Fezan, who are facing this issue, can you please let me know? I'll I'll sort of have to pull you up because you are the only folks I know who had this issue. Okay, can you can you click on uh, can you type in import space Django like I did, and does that work for you? Yes, sir. Does import space Django work? Okay, cool. But Django admin doesn't work. Okay. Let's see, I think there was another way to launch the command line. What was that? Okay, uh, so if Django is installed, you can exit, so fine. So that means Django is properly installed, it's working fine. You folks just don't, can't run the Django space admin command. Is that, is that right? If that is the case, then 
i think uh, another option for windows folks is from the start menu you can also run the python command line interface so in anaconda if you go in the options you should find a command line interface python console some option like that can you please check i'm sorry i can't give you a definitive uh, trial because my system is ubuntu fezan or abhishek or someone with the same problem can you please share your screen it will be easier to help you that way because i am sort of not able to visualize what goes wrong if if i can't see the screen uh, anyone who has the same problem where django admin is not a recognized command can you please share your screen yes thank you so uh, can you now do control c or control d to break out so yeah sorry so, so use control z to exit out of this so you already have django django is working fine django is not a problem right okay can you please type the command again just for me to see uh, because i can't see the older command of yours okay can you try django hyphen admin dot py i think so dot uh, py doesn't work right i think so it was there somewhere it's a utility not a not a recognized command okay uh mm. can you do a pip list nahi wo to hai nahi usko shayad uh, i think he'll have to do uh Yeah, it takes some time. Cool. Scroll up. Yeah, down, down, down. Uh, Django. Yeah, Django is there. So I think you are trying from. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can you show me your start uh, start option? Start option. Me Anaconda ke kya kya options hai? Wo dekh sakte hai kya? I can't see full screen. I think so. Yeah, वो console का issue होता है वो DOS वाला console. I think नहीं 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 तो power share लेता है. Yeah, Python space hyphen m and then maybe Django, but that will be too much. Maybe from uh, Anaconda you can set a like this is Windows CMD ना. No? नहीं but Windows में यही खुलता है वो मतलब when you do it from Anaconda also this is this is the one that opens up. Oh okay. Hmm. I don't remember what we did last time. I think so. This is not much of an issue. Uh, I'm not able to see your start screen. Can you just show me your start screen, please? Start का जो button होता है ना वो उसमें menu आता है. Right. Can you type in Anaconda? PowerShell prompt. Okay. Can you click on Anaconda PowerShell prompt? Write that one. Okay. Can you try things here? again ha uh, maybe python hyphen m maybe works python hyphen m django nahi python hyphen doesn't work hyphen n not python sorry just do django hyphen admin space 
start project python is also not recognized kya baat sahi hai नहीं यार दिस डजन वर्क ओके ट्राई दिस ओके सो दिस दिस कमांड लाइन डजन वर्क वन सेकेंड इट मी चेक ओके फैजान कैन यू डू मी अनदर फेवर कैन यू क्लोज योर एनाकोंडा एंड री रन इट एज एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर वन सेकेंड जस्ट फॉर जस्ट फॉर अ टेस्ट Can you close this prompt? Can you close Anaconda prompt? Can you close the other prompt, the other console? Everything just close it. Restart Anaconda by right-clicking and running it as administrator. Hello, Fazan. So uh, I am not able to understand if you are able to relaunch. Can you can you you know type in chat or let me know if you have done that. Can you close? You can also close these consoles. We don't need those now. Okay, you still face that same error. Mm, path. okay for okay for uh let's try this one then i'm sorry uh, because i don't have windows this is a problem that is generally new to me uh but for folks who have who are having this problem can you please install django using this command so uh please first pip uninstall django to remove it and then run this command which is pip install hyphen capital u django let's see if that works your screen is not visible i have put the command in chat if that's helpful i'm not sharing my screen at the moment i'm trying to see if i can find a solution on other pages uh can you please run pip install hyphen u django for folks who face that command issue abhishek or someone from the folks who are facing the issue can you please let me know i am not able to make out uh cool abhi say can you share your screen or can you help me understand what's happening so you uninstall django correct have you installed django with pip install 
hyphen capital U Django. Can you do that? Please, can you run that first? Say so it installs Django successfully. Are you done with the installation? Yes, sir. So can you type in the command again? Django hyphen admin start project. Uh, library underscore management. And tell me. Sir, this works. time no error came. Uh, just next line successfully came. Correct. So that worked, right? That means it worked. If something is wrong, it means it is right? Okay. So, I guess, yeah, you can use dir command to change your directory, but I think so it is working for folks. So for folks who don't want to, uh, like, huh, okay. So if you, if you want to see a list of folders, you can say, you can use the dir command. Cool. So it, it seems to be established that pip install hyphen u Django works. So anybody facing that problem can please use pip install space hyphen u Django and things should work as expected. I will start sharing my screen again just for continuing with life. Okay, so I hope this solves the problem. Uh, I will repeat the commands again. So for those who were not able to do it, they can do it again. For those who have already done it, please don't repeat it. So it is Django hyphen admin space start project space library underscore management. Uh, any spelling mistakes and folders and files will be created with that name. So please check your spellings correctly. If not, if you think that the spelling was wrong, if you think that the name was wrong, please delete that folder, run the command again. If you think it was wrong, if everything went right, do not change anything, right? Uh, so I ran it. This time what I did was I, I created my project in a separate folder so that I can, I can understand what is happening. You can see that I'm using a temporary folder here to create my project. And in Ubuntu, I do ls. In uh, Windows, you will do dir. And that should give you uh, a list of folders. So you should be able to see library management here, right? So this is a project folder that is created. Now let's see what is inside the project folder. So I can do tree library management. And it will give me, so tree is a, again, a Linux command. It will not work for folks on windows, but I'm just trying to show you a representation of how the folder structure looks like. I have my parent uh, project directory called library management. There's an internal source code project library, a uh, project folder also called library management. It is not to be confused with the upper, upper uh, folder. That folder will contain some files relevant to the system, to the to the whole framework. ASCII.py is a server uh, server relevant file when executing this application on a server. Init.py file is the initializer file for any Python module because this will work as a module. Settings.py file is uh, what uh, what you use for setting certain values and certain uh, toggles, etc for the Django project. We'll go into more detail as to what that is, but uh, that is a Django settings file. We'll be working with it soon. We then have the URL.py file, which is basically a list of URLs that you want for your web application. WSGI is also a similarly server relevant file. And then you have the most important command line tool called manage.py. If you folks, uh, have already reached this point, you can now uh, go inside the library management folder. And you will see uh, that you have the folder and manage.py. From this moment on, anything that I say is going to be from this point, that is from the manage.py level, right? So I'm not going to talk about the upper folder. I've forgotten about it. I only talk about uh, within this folder where uh, the level where manage.py is located, we'll be talking in those terms, right? So the reference will be this folder where manage.py exists. Correct. So is everybody successfully able to see a manage.py file here? And are they located inside that folder? Please let me know in the chat again. Yes. Uh, can you repeat what we have to do? 
you have to be located in the folder where manage.py file is located manage.py file is inside the library management folder which you just created yes so when i uh, type the library management i just got only one uh, thing library management so you have a manage.py file or you have nothing at all I have uh, only one. Uh, I I just got only one thing for called uh, is that me? I just got only one thing called uh, library management. Nothing else. Correct. So, uh, what is that one thing? I I'm I'm sorry, I'm not able to hear you correctly. But what is that one thing that you can see? So it's uh, showing only library management in that thing. It's not showing anything else. Okay. Can you go inside? So that library management is a directory. Can you move inside that directory? So you can use cd space library underscore management to go inside the directory. Sir, please show the command of the Django add and install project. Uh, it is not. It is not going to be the same. It is cd space library underscore management. Is that the is that the uh, command you are looking for? Sir, how to move subsequently beyond that? Right. How to move yes. beyond the library management folder directory? CD space dot dot. If you CD want to space. go beyond, this is for above, above the directory. Below, behind, behind. You want to go back? Behind, behind, back. Correct. Right. Everybody able to see the manage.py file? Anyone who is not, please let me know in the chat or on. You can unmute yourself. Whatever you you would like to do. Sir, I am stuck at the directory library dot management. How to get that manage dot py? So you can see. So if you use dir, can what can you see if you type in dir? Okay, simply dir in capital or simple? Just dir. Yes. Okay, I have typed dir. In cap. In caps also fine. Uh, okay. Also. No, it has worked. It has shown. Uh, it has shown certain structure, uh, directory, 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 and one files and three directories. That's it. Can you can you uh, on on the I think so on the I think so on the rightmost end you can see names. Some names will be there. Can you are okay. there any names? Okay. How many let, let how many see. rows can you see? There are only three uh, four rows actually. One files and three directories. Can you read the names? Can you can you. Or maybe paste it here in in chat, or maybe just read out the names. Something like Got that. Got it. One second. Just let me see. Correct. So you are in the correct. You are in the correct space, right? You can see that there is one called manage.py. That is the right file. So you are in the right directory. That's fine. You are correct. That's okay. Okay. That's fine, actually. Uh, Thank you. Kalpasri, if you wrote import Django and then you immediately wrote something, then I guess it will not work. Please exit that. Uh, Three line prompt, that three arrow prompt. Sir, name error. And error. come outside. There is showing a name error, sir. Name error. Okay, one second. For Mossam, Mossam, can you do dir and see if you can see manage.py somewhere in the output? If you can, then you are in the correct place. If you can't, we can try to help you out. Uh, Mukun, so you are saying that the, the incorrect name. Hi, yes, sir. You are on Windows, right? Yes. Sir, sir I I read the um, command of library management, but it occurred a name error in this. Sir. So I didn't get you, boss. Did the original command work properly or not? The I the Django admin command. Django admin commands are not working, sir. Please show you. Please show the repeat the Django admin command. So for folks who can already see manage.py, don't please run a lot of commands. You're going to get very confused. For folks who can already see manage.py, please just wait there for me to figure out folks things for others so that I can solve problems for them. I'll repeat certain things, uh, but please don't try every command that I tell out loud because then you will get confused and you will be in a place where it, things will not work later on. Right? So for Mukun, can you, can you see my screen? Yes, sir. 
Okay. So when you ran the Django hyphen admin space start project command, did things work properly or not? No, sir. No. Why did it not work properly? Did you get an error? Did you get some output? Something happened. Something didn't happen. What happened? Name error. Sir. Name error. Name error. So can you share your screen? Abhishek, it was cd space the folder directory name. Why would you only type cd? Uh, okay. Uh, what you can do now? Do you know which folder you were inside before? Were you aware of what folder it was? If you can, you can try to move to that folder again. If not, uh, just run the command again in a suitable folder. Please go to a folder where you know the uh, where you know the location. For example, desktop is a very good location in Windows. Everybody knows where it is. You can see the folder also. So go to desktop and run this command again. That is Django admin start project library management. Yes, I can see your screen now. Can you please hit Control Z? Control Z is the button combination which will help you get on track in life. Sir, Control G. Control and Z, 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 sorry, Z. Okay, sir. Correct. Now, uh, can you run the command? That is Django hyphen admin space start project space library management. Please remember which folder you are in. Please make sure that you have uh, permission here. Agar permission nahi hai, to pehle desktop pe jao. Desktop wale fold, malab desktop wale side se ye command run karo. In command line only, you should be on desktop. Or if you think you can run the command here, then run it here and check if you can access the folder. Run the command here. It's fine. Just, just let's see so what's command name. Let's see if it happens. अरे यार अभी तो रन किया तुमने ऊपर ही तो रन किया तुमने कमांड वही रन करो सर ही इज यूजिंग अंडरस्कोर नहीं हाइफिन हाइफिन एडमिन डेंगो हाइफिन एडमिन ऊपर जो कमांड किया है वही रन करना है भाई सेम सेम कमांड है ओके सो फॉर फोक्स हु डोंट हैव एन इशू कैन यू प्लीज जस्ट शाउट आउट इन द चैट सेइंग यस एवरीथिंग वर्क फाइन you are able to see the folder you are able to go inside the folder you are able to see manage.py library space management nahi library underscore management space underscore. karoge to fir wo baad mein jo naam banega nahi pata chalega okay so i guess enough people who are already there i think so yeah. ek so i am not getting uh, manage.py i don't know what uh, commands i have to give so shall i uh, share my screen so yeah just give just give uh, mukund a minute to figure it out but in the meantime can you tell me uh, who am i speaking to sorry just so that i can refer to you by name right uh, can you see if you type in dir can you see the folder name in front of you uh, you can share your screen now if you to... want to yes sir can i see the right you already seem to be inside the folder can you type in dir again okay uh, do i have to press control z no dir let us dir okay so you have gone one step further and gone into the inner library management folder so just type cd space dot dot cd space dot dot and press enter now can you do dir and you should be in the right place yes sir right so so you should be in the right place right right so now uh correct so for Okay, so there was one more person who I think was complaining that they are not able to understand. One second, I'll just try to see if I can track that person down. Huh. So Vivek on the chat had mentioned कि कुछ समझ नहीं रहा है. तो can I help you, Vivek? Is there something that you're stuck with? अगर क्या नहीं समझ रहा है वो बताओगे तो I can help you out. 
sir hello yes sir i'm obishek uh, so uh, here it's showing library management uh, yeah. is not recognized as internal or external command uh, operable program or batch file are bhai so you 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 must have run something with library management as text main command jaise usko run kar diya so windows not able to recognize it fine it's fine so are you in the right directory is the my question are you in the correct directory right user directory dir karte ho Okay. Library underscore management. Yeah, whatever is the name that you have given, use that exact same name and go inside, and then do dir. Then you should be able to see, right? Can you repeat the steps? Okay, sir, it worked. Thank you, sir. Uh, cool. Uh, so the person asking for steps, I need to know where you are. What did you do? Uh, what sir, you sir, what did you not uh, do? Then? I got say I got same issue like uh, Abhishek. Correct. So can you type in cd space library underscore management or whatever the name of your folder is? Cd space. The name of your folder library underscore management or if it is some different name that you have given, then type that name. System cannot find the path specified. it can't find the path fine okay can you share your screen is that possible right uh cd underscore management okay so where did you run your django admin so you're stuck at the point where you can't run django hyphen admin as a command right so what you can do is uh run one second i'll put the commands in the chat please run those in that order same order after that run the django admin complete command and then you should be able to see uh, your folder right uh, okay now for folks right, right, who sorry sir i tried that too okay you still not able to get it is it no sir may i try again okay can you uh can you so are you running anaconda as an administrator fine close your ad, close your anaconda application your command line application everything just close the windows and uh, go to start menu again right click on anaconda and run as administrator then you should be running it as administrator okay listing all the steps from the beginning will be difficult for me i list out all the commands these were all the commands from the starting please don't run all those commands again for whoever is already if everything is working fine then don't make life difficult for yourself and don't run all those commands again just let it be for people who want a reference of all the commands i put the commands in chat for janvi if you can if you're done please let me know uh in the meantime uh if i think so pooja is having an issue pooja if you can say it out loud or type out what your issue was then i can help you for folks who have already successfully done this and can see manage.py if you type out dir again you should be able to see where your folder is located so i think from mossum's output i can see that typing dir will give you something like this right uh, it should give you a directory of etc etc so it will tell you where your directory is located please make a note of where that directory is located just make a note of it copy paste kar lo put it somewhere write it somewhere whatever you you want to do 
please make a note of where your library management app is where your library management folder is located is everyone who was already successfully able to do this can you can you uh, were you able to make a note i'll share my screen in the meantime so i'm uh, so anyone who's going to tell me what their output is please don't tell me what your output is i i uh, will not be able to make out uh, yes so it says directory of something 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 please make a note of that that is where your library management app is right uh, once you made a note of that your anaconda navigator has the option to open a spider uh, python ide please launch and open that uh, please don't ask me if you want to use vs code or not uh, at this moment uh, very honestly you can use whatever you want to if you think that works for you uh, please go ahead i'll be using spider because i like spider uh, or whatever you like to put it at it will take some time for the spider uh, id to launch it is slightly heavy uh, please wait until it launches and then i'll give you the next steps right uh, while it launches uh, janvi if you can hear me uh, were you able to make things correct again yes sir yes no okay yes sir were you able to see the library management folder and the manage.py file yes cool so please make a note of where your library management folder is located once you have made a note of it please open the spider ide new project and then you you give the directory that could be one way uh, but fine i'll go with the boring option of opening one file one at a time uh so i'll go to my project which is here and i will try to show you how the settings file looks like right so we'll we'll just familiarize ourselves with the settings file for now and then we'll go ahead and uh, create a new application or an app right that will be the next step so for folks who have uh, not seen the django settings file before uh, this is basically just a sort of configuration manager file it uh, it stores all kind of details so django already has some default apps apps are like django plugins they do one specific thing at a time for example we already have authentication built into django so it is also an app or a plugin we have django messages we have session management for a web application so those are all built in there is something called middleware and we'll not talk about those now it's an advanced django concept uh django templates are the html files that are rendered so this is basically the templating engine configuration you have the database which is also important and here it uh it gives you a default configuration of an sqlite database uh, we'll see how uh, that works because uh, that also involves some amount of configuration later on so i don't want to get into a lot more detail because you're already harassed by the django file structure anyway and you have like things like time zones and language code etc cetera, etc cetera. so this is basically a configuration management file right now let's go back to uh, the console and uh, like uh, like we already mentioned uh, i hope that everybody is still in their manage.py folder only where they can see the manage.py file you can now run a command called python manage.py space start app and then the app name now the app name that we will give is called library underscore manager okay so i'll put the command in the chat so that you can run it please run this only from the directory where the manage.py file is located if you run it from anywhere else it will obviously not work uh, people asking about jupiter i think so jupiter will not be a good idea here because this is not a script jupiter is good for scripts uh, we need a proper file uh, text editor and a file manager uh can everybody see the command in the chat uh 
I am getting the error of uh, did you forget to activate a virtual environment? Can you see base on the left? Yes. Okay. Um, uh, also, module not found error. No module named Django. Okay, I'll come back to you. So for folks who uh, I just complete the whole cycle for folks who are already able to do this because then they also get confused at the same time. I'll run the command on my local machine so that you can see what happens. Uh, I'll clear the screen just for textual clarity. I run the command python manage.py start app space library manager. Please make sure that the name is the same. Once you run it, uh, if you don't get any error, that means everything is working fine. Uh, I'll show you how things look like now. So if I do a tree and the current folder again, uh, I'll, I'll be able to see the uh, tree structure of the folders. This will not work for Windows. So we already had library management uh, directory with ASGI, init, settings, URLs, etc. We now have a new folder called library manager, which is the app folder. It has some other files. It has an admin.py file. Uh, which is again a configuration uh, file for the admin interface. We have an apps.py file uh, that has data related to this app. We have an init file for initialization. We have a migrations folder, which is for database migrations. We'll talk about that later. We have a models.py file. The models.py file is used to store database mapping. So you'll be able, you'll be creating, you'll be writing out Python code to represent your database schema and structure in the models.py file. We'll do this tomorrow. And uh, this is what is uh, this is what is representing your uh, database in Python code. So this is where you store your database schema and details, uh, the tables, the columns, the field names, etc. You have test.py. Uh, this is used to write uh, test cases to test your application if it is working properly or not. You have views.py. So uh, like everybody, if, if you're not aware, uh, a short introduction to Django is that it is called a model view template uh, framework because it contains models to represent the databases, the views to represent the business logic and the templates to render that data on the front end. So views is what uh, basically connects your templates. That is your HTML. It also connects things to your database so you can fetch or pull or push information into your databases and uh, you can do any sort of you know uh, manipulation of information and then push it to the template to render that data right uh, so this kind of a folder should show up on your screen if you want to go inside and look these are the files that you will see going inside and man you know uh, sort of uh, walking through the data directory structure I'll let you do it later on uh, because command line is, is sort of a tough nut for everybody here. So uh, I'll let you do it do that later. For, uh, for folks who are not able to do it, uh, Rahul, can you please share your screen if possible? And I can try to help you. If anybody else is not able to do this at the moment, can you please let me know? So kindly repeat this uh, tree command again. Yeah, okay. tree command doesn't work for Windows. So you, you, do, you need not run that. It doesn't work on Windows. It okay. was just for visually showing that uh, the directory stuff. Okay, otherwise we can manually go and check that these files are there. You can go and check. You can use your Windows Explorer to check, etc. Whatever you would like to do. Thank you, sir. Uh, Rahul, I think you had an issue. Can you please? Uh, just a minute. So right now I just showed you the set. I showed you the settings file. You can open the settings file if you want to, but you are not supposed to change anything in the file. I just showed you a way of how you would use the spider ID to open the open the file. Okay, I uh, I'm not sure. Rahul, can you share your screen again or show me what is going wrong, please? If not, can we move on? Uh, yes, just a minute. Right. Oh, good. Thank you for Ubuntu. Uh, cool. So you are in base, but you're saying that 
uh, it says that couldn't import Django. Are you sure it's installed? Okay. Uh, did you use the hyphen u command? Okay. I guess no. No, I did not. No. Okay. Can you do a pip space list to to check if Django is installed? Couldn't import Django, which is weird. No module name Django means you not installed it or something went wrong when you were installing it. Yeah, let's wait. And please scroll to the point where D is the dominant letter so that you can check if you have Django in the list or not. It'll take some time. Okay. Let me scroll up, please. Right, so it's not here, which means Django is not installed. So can you do pip space install space Django? Okay. The network is a bit unstable. That's fine. Uh, so wh what you can do is, um, uh, don't do sudo. Sudo is not going to, sudo will cause problems again, I guess. Can you please, uh, can you also make sure that you use a different folder? So you already have library management, then you create another library management is going to cause confusion. So please use a different folder name, install Django. Then I'll, uh, once you're done with installation of Django, I'll give you the commands again. So just try that. In the meantime, I'll just move ahead with the others so that they are not stalled, if that's okay with you. Uh, okay, thank you. So has everybody reached the point where they can open the settings.py file in Spider and are able to see it? Please don't edit it, uh, but hopefully you are able to see what is happening there, right? Okay. So what we did up till now is we installed Django, we created a project, we then uh, also created an app called library manager and we opened a lot of files in spider which is our ide right so let's see if we can run the basic uh, installation that we've done till till now uh, what do we need to do we will we'll walk through how python helps us manage stuff so there may be a few errors that will show up but we'll try to solve them along the way okay so we'll type in the command python space manage dot py space run server right and uh, it should show you something like this it will show you something in red but for now it is fine because uh, i'll tell you what this this part in red means but for now, uh, this should work fine. Can you please see if you get this after running the run server command? So I'll type the run server command in the chat. This is the run server command. This should work for you. Again, like I mentioned, you should be at the level where manage.py file is located in your command line. If you change your directory somewhere, then you'll have to come back to that directory. Right. In case someone is not able to do this, please let me know. Okay. So a few folks have been able to do it. For those who have been able to do it, you'll see that it says a few things. It says that it, it did some watching of files. It performed some system checks. Then you get this big blob of text in red. Uh, it gives you the date. Uh, for now, it gives you the Django version number. And then it says it is starting a development server on this thing that looks like a URL. So what that means is it is starting a small test server for running the application on your local machine in on this URL. This URL is basically your own IP address, your local host IP address. So what you can do is you can open a Chrome or a Firefox browser and you can actually switch to a tab if you want to and paste that same uh, location that is 127.0.0.1 press enter if everything works fine you should get some fancy screen like this which means that you now done a very very simple setup of a django app successfully 
for folks who this is not working for as usual please let me know and we try to solve problems for you rahul in the meantime you can let me know in the chat if things are working for you as 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 well um, or if you need help i can repeat the commands that we had already done uh, i think you were at a point where you needed to do pip install django then do pip list then the django command for this thing i i can type it out later to rahul if he wants it anyone who's not been able to do this please let me know anyone who for whom the the uh, the command line didn't work as expected please let me know okay mosam can you please share your screen again uh, for me to understand where you've reached i do not know at which point you are so i can't explain much akanksha can you please paste that url so please start this url in the browser please open open this in browser okay you are unable to share your screen uh, in that case mm, are you uh, mausam can you can you see the manage.py uh, file you can unmute and talk if you are able to talk yeah so ankit has uh, uh... Sent the com uh, command in the chat. Python manage dot py start app library underscore manager. That command you need to run. library manager not management you can uh, press up arrow up arrow key you can press yeah up arrow Uh, uh, it, it's fine if it's taking some time. Just remove this current thing that is showing up. Just press enter a couple of times and type in that command that you uh, that you can see on the chat. Let us know once you run the command. Right? That that should work also. It's fine. So next, what we can do is we can add the app to settings and then do a migrations. Pathamesh, can we should we do that now only? It's fine, right? We'll set up the DB and we can solve yeah, yeah, problems. Yeah, yeah. Migrations they can do, right? Yeah. Correct. Okay. So for folks who have already been able to run the thing in browser successfully, please go back to your Spider ID editor and open the settings.py file. Uh, and I'll tell you the next steps. So uh, I'm guessing everybody is already here in settings.py. Uh, please scroll down in the settings.py file. Please scroll down to the point where it is. said that you have the list called yeah. installed apps and you should be able to see the settings.py file and should be able to scroll down to uh, a list called installed apps please scroll down to the list called installed apps and then at the very end just add a string with quotes so i'm typing in quotes followed by your app name what is your app name your app name was library manager not management and followed by a comma at the end just for it's not compulsory but i keep it because it is good practice please add this line please make sure that you added quotes properly you added the name properly your spelling is correct there's an underscore and please make sure you are putting it in installed apps not somewhere else and then save the file 
obviously and i'll wait in chat to understand if anybody's reached this point if they have issues i can help please let me know any difference between double quotation or single quotation both will work uh, for for python no uh, both will work okay thank you yes i'll leave the screen open so i'll highlight the portion that i want you to type it is quotations library manager uh followed by comma in the settings.py file i'll uh, i'll let you folks uh, figure this out i'll be back in in just a few seconds thank you anyone who's done please just say done in the chat anyone who has any issues please just raise your uh, issue in the chat uh, anything i can help with uh, that would be great right okay i think we can go to the next step uh, not much to do here uh, so if you switch back to your command line just out of interest i can show you that uh, basically this is a development server so it keeps checking you know whether you made any changes so once we made that change it basically kept looking and i think so somewhere it mentioned that you know i think i closed it off uh, yeah so here it mentions that you know your settings.py has changed so i am reloading and the server gets refreshed so that the changes reflect on your web application as well uh, this is not important just a good feature to understand you know what is happening uh, so you can see that uh, this uh, red blob of text is still showing up what it says is that there are 18 unapplied migrations your project may not work properly until you apply the migration for these apps admin auth content sessions right like i mentioned earlier these apps are basically inbuilt apps they carry out essential functions within the application for example authentication session management admin dashboards for for uh, you know inputting data etc uh each app every app has its own models which i said again was the uh, the database relationships uh models when created newly or when setting up a new project uh your your system doesn't know what the model is and what the database looks like so whenever we apply your model changes or we apply a new model on to your database at that time uh we have to run a migration a migration is basically the step where you programmatically apply whatever changes you have made or any creations of new tables you are applying those on your database that is what a migration is so you are migrating your database to a new schema which is why it is called a migration in this case you have set up a completely fresh project so there is no sqlite or sql database here which is why applying the migrations is necessary so that a database is created the schema is set up the columns the databases the tables are set up and you can then sort of do further development to be able to do that uh, again i can use control c because i am using linux but you can use i think so you can use control z or something you can use that and quit the server and you should come back to this command prompt right so everybody please quit your server so that you come back to the command prompt and then we'll run the next command okay anybody uh, uh sir how to quit the server in anybody has i think so can you try control control with z control with z just a minute i tried but it didn't work no control with z no it didn't work okay can control you try control with break break okay let control me try control c doesn't work yeah uh which uh, is there uh, anyone who is uh, facing issue with control c or control break yeah control break is a good option 
uh, yeah, if control break is not working, then control uh, function key F N and B simultaneously. If anyone has uh, uh, don't have break on the keyboard, so I'll I'll just. I don't have break in my keyboard actually. That's yes, yeah, in control F N and B simultaneously. I go go for control C and the, what has come out is a sort of a or sign with Z. Is that fine? Mm, or sign with Z. Can you? I'll I'll show you uh, in the chat box. I know, I know. So it is. Uh, yeah, it is that control uh, command command. This was what was coming. Uh, cool. Can you press enter a couple of times? It should. Okay. Hey, I think okay. it's already out. Yeah. It's already out. It's already, already out. Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you. Cool. Uh, for persons asking about what to do after the install lapse, uh, nothing. You just exit the server, the running server in a command line. Please say Control C or Control Z or Control uh, Pause Break, something of that sort, and close your running server in the command line. If control C is working, great, no problem. Um, once you exited the server, please run Python. So uh, disregard the hash keys. That is just for my reference to show you the command. Please uh, type in Python space manage dot py space migrate. Again, remember you should be at the location where manage dot py is located. Python space manage dot py space migrate. And it should run. Uh, a few lines will run, and then you should get a success message. Kind of thing. So I'll I'll run it so that you have an output reference. So you should get this kind of an output. Applying all migrations, everything should show OK, and you will get the command prompt again. I leave this here to see. In case anyone is facing issues, please let me know. Uh, this is probably uh, a location where some folks may face issues, so we'll try to solve them. Windows doesn't run, doesn't isn't very friendly with SQL and SQLite sometimes, so it can be a problem. It's Python manage dot py dot migrate uh, at migrate. Yes, yes, I'll I'll type yes. Are you it just my, uh, it is Python manage. Yes, manage dot py space migrate. That is the command. Uh, Pranali is asking if this is the output. Yeah, as long as you you come out of that ser running server, it is fine. Just press enter a couple of times and you should be out. Yes, sir. I'm out of the loop. Okay, sir. Done. Uh, now you can run. Yeah. Now everybody who's out of the server can run Python manage.py migrate. Anybody who's still stuck can't do this, can't reach this point, has not been able to run the server. Any any problem? Please let us know, and I'll try to fix it for you. For folks uh, for whom this worked properly. Uh, if you go into your file explorer or some place to see, uh, you should be able to see. I think so. I can show it here only. Yeah, you should be able to see a new file called db.sqlite3. This is the database file. This is an SQLite file, which is also a database uh, system or language RDBMS system. Uh, this will now store. This contains all your uh, tables, columns, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. This will also store any future interactions with your database. So that will happen there. Um, and uh, uh, if you delete this later on, uh, it is going to make life difficult for you because you'll have to then do migrations again, and you lose all your older information. So from now on, please do not delete this file. At this moment, until told, right? So uh, you should be able to see this new file. Uh, in case anyone is not able to see or had any errors with their migrations, please let me know, and we'll try to fix it. Uh, did the migrate command work properly? Please let me know. Uh, could you see the uh, Could you see the DBSQLite file? Could you see the this 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 piece of file? 
Yes, sir. In okay. Uh, for anyone who is not able to see this file, or if the migrations went wrong, please let me know. It is essential that we uh, cover these steps today because these are these are important steps. The database needs to be step uh, set up. Uh, tomorrow we'll be incrementally building on top of this, so we can't revisit all these steps tomorrow. It'll be too time consuming. Was my point. Uh, you can type in this command next, which is python manage dot py create super user. Uh, this command basically sets up a default super user or a default high level user, and uh, that user is now is then able to access all parts of the website. It is like a it's like a root user or a super user in in your computer, right? Okay, Mosam, can you go to your file explorer and then check if you can see the file in your library management folder? Uh, Nivedita, you say that a total of 148 didn't work for me. I do not understand what that means. Can you please put out an output? Right. So, uh, Nivedita and Mosam, can you please help me with some some details about what is going wrong? In the meantime, I'll walk people through what happens when they run this command. So, once you run this command, like ask asking your the command, username, uh, username is being asked. Correct. Yes. So you can type in a suitable username that you can remember. Please make a note of it because uh, you can't, uh, you'll not be able to log in. You'll have to create a new user if you forget this, if you forget this step. So I'm I'm typing in a very generic username and an email. Uh, it need not be a very legal email address. That's fine. Uh, so. You can you can see from the red command that I've typed in a password that is very similar to my username. So you can make out what it is, but I'm doing that just because I want to easily remember what it is. So I'm bypassing the security feature where I say that I'm fine with what password I'm using. Okay. And it should tell you super user is successfully created. This is the important part, right? So please type in your username, an email address, a password, write it again somewhere else so that you remember, and then it should create be created successfully. I'll switch back to chat because folks are not able to do something. L L is not okay. Please don't follow along my commands. My commands are for uh, my commands are for Ubuntu, so they'll not work on Windows. Please use dir in Windows and check your folder. Yeah, so actually, I can't see my file. I've stopped my screen share. You can try and share your screen. Aditya, if you uh, if you're saying that you're unable to type the password just because it's not showing on your screen, then uh, it doesn't show on the screen. You you have you are actually typing it, but it is not visible on the screen because password should not be visible on the screen, right? If it was visible, everybody would see it. So what is the point of a password? Nice. Okay. I can see your screen now. Can you uh, okay? So your migrations are correct. Can you do uh, dir and press enter? Cool. So uh, you should be, you you can see db dot sqlite right. So your migrations have worked correctly. Now please uh, run uh, the super user command. What is the super user command? Where was it? It was here. Please run this command again, and uh, you are good to go. Everything is working properly. So I had one more doubt that I understood the whole part from this uh, like, from the section, but uh, in Spider, I'm curious. Like I have no clue. I'm Yeah. So in Spider, can you open your settings.py file? Can you can you go to file, open file, and then click uh, find your settings.py file? So 
Yeah, can you check where you are? Can you go go back to your command line and check where you are? Uh, that where your where your library management folder is. Go back to your command line. The black screen. Cool. Just find it and and open that file in. This. Let's see user boss. It, uh, the command is giving you the exact path. Can you show your terminal? I can tell you what your path is. So you are uh, your library management is in C users, Mossum. Correct. That is where it is. Uh, I have so go to C users. Correct. Go to users. Go to Mossum. Go to library management. Uh, go inside the second library management. No, the one on the top. Go to open again. Go to library management. Go to settings. Double click on settings. Right. Now go down. You can see installed apps. Scroll up. Install app. Right. And then in front of you, uh, just add. So it is a list, right? It's a Python list. So just add one more element at the very end. Uh, so the app that you create that you created is called library manager. Just add that name between quotes. So quote library underscore manager end quote. So uh, has she created the app? Has she created what? Sorry. Has she created the app Django app? No, not Jan Django. Ah, can, that can you show your console again? Uh, app is not oh, created. So she's not created the app. So please uh, type in this command. Let me give you the command first. Type in that command first. Are you already also are able to? Oh, nice. Okay. You are in the create super user command. That is fine. First, complete this flow. That is type in your username, type in your email, type in your password, and complete this. Then after that, do the start app command that I put in the chat. Okay, after that, you save the settings.py file, add the library manager app there in the name, and you're done. Okay. Sir, refreshing the browser, it doesn't show anything. Is it because we have closed the server? Correct. So you already closed the server at the moment. Okay. Uh, let's get back to that part of the story. So now you have a super user, you have your app and you have a database created. So what this command did is in the database, it added a new user with a username and a password combination. So now what we'll do is we'll run the server again. So how will we run the server again? We'll use the run server yeah. command. Let me share my screen again. One second. Yes, go ahead. I think I just wanted to uh, tell you that to share the screen. Yes, I'm sharing my screen. It should be visible in a moment. I think it is visible now. Yes. So you can run your server again. Uh, and they should, they should uh, get the server up and running. You can, again, if you are already if you not open a tab, you can open a tab and paste that uh, link location because I already have it open. Where is where is my server? Yes, here it is. So now I have pasted my uh, uh, link in the tab. What I add to the what I add to the URL is I add slash admin. 
I can't maximize the browser itself, but you basically add slash admin at the very end. So your URL will look like something like this. Username field will not be left bank. It will give you a default of your computer's username. So I recommend not doing all that stuff because then people tend to not remember. Please use a very generic username password that you can remember and note it down somewhere. If you already grabbed the URL, please press enter and it should load your admin login interface. Uh, now it is asking you for a username password. Now naturally you will put in the username password that you used. I used admin. I'm not telling you my password and you should come to this screen. This is where you can do some basic management tasks with your application, your Django application. So even though uh, in the future, if you were to create an application and not create UI, uh, Django by default gives you this uh, dashboard where you can do basic data entry stuff. So if you have a very simple application which is doing data entry, you don't even have to take the pain of creating a UI, it gives you this uh, uh, very basic uh, structure, and you know it gives you more features here. So as you will as you will develop the Django Library Manager app, you will also see that here tomorrow. But for now, it is giving you the default uh, data that you can manage, which is groups and users. Groups are basically related to permissions. We'll not go into all of that now. In the users, if you click, you will be able to see a very simple uh, tabular uh, format of data. And you'll see that you can see one user here, uh, which is the admin one that you created. If you click on that, you'll see more information. You can change your username. You can even change your password from here. There's a very small link here to change your password if you want to do it in the future. Uh, and you have certain check marks, uh, details, et cetera. You also have details about the last login and the date that this user was created. So that allows you to do a little bit of uh, management. You can, uh, from here on, because you have one super user, you can also create more users who do not have super user access. So they may not be able to do uh, management level tasks like, you know, deleting and creating users, etc. cetera. Uh, that is something for another day. We'll not get into a lot more users now to confuse you. But this, this is basically uh, a very simple dashboard to navigate uh, around your uh, application, right? Uh, so you don't need to, so a lot, of, a lot of frameworks don't have these dashboards. So you have to then use an SQL viewer, et cetera, to view your, you, to view your database, et cetera. Here you get all of your database access here itself and it gives you a very convenient way to access the information. Right. So this is called an admin admin or an administrative interface. It comes by default. Uh, it's also a very basic way to interact with your database. Uh, that about does it for uh, today. Uh, in the sense that this is what we had to sort of summarize and do. Uh, this is a very basic setup of your Django application. We'll do a lot more things tomorrow. Uh, we uh, did cut, we sort of uh, did not follow the schedule exactly here. You were supposed to complete one more module called functions, which you can do after this session if you want to, or you can do it later. Uh, uh, after the sessions are done, you can take some time out from your schedule and do it if you want to. Functions should be the module that should be remaining as per schedule. If you have any pending modules, please try to complete them before tomorrow. Uh, but apart from that, I'm still here. We still have some time remaining. That is about like 20, 25 minutes. I and Prathamesh are still here to help you with issues. Can you please uh, let me know if you have any issues? Uh, did somebody you asked that location. Uh, you asked us to save that location of our uh, library management. We didn't use that. Yeah, I so so we didn't use that because so. I basically asked you to save it because uh, you will need it when opening the settings file in, in Spider. Some people tend to forget. Some people don't know where the folder is created. So I asked you to save it because just for reference. Uh, we'll also be doing a lot more editing in Spider tomorrow because you'll be editing a lot more files. So you need that location for your reference. 
So I have a couple of issues that have come in directly to me. I'll read them out and try to solve them one by one. Prathamesh is also trying them one by one. So Jyoti, I'll get to your question a little later. I'll just try to solve problems first. So somebody, uh, Akanksha mentioned that her, her terminal got closed by mistake. What to do now? Nothing. You open your terminal the same way that you opened it last time. You have to walk through uh, a few of the commands. So for example, you'll have to run your server again and you'll have to launch uh, the, the website in your in your uh, browser, right? So you just have to run your server again, go to the correct folder, run your server again, and uh, start it again in, in your browser, right? Uh, somebody said that library manager conflicts with the name of an existing Python module. You, uh, Anmol has asked that library manager conflicts with the name of an existing Python module. Uh, this is funny business. It seems that you already created something and uh, you're trying to do it again. Uh, I'm not sure what you, Anmol, if you can share your screen, I can try to help you. Uh, what else? Who else is there? So Bhagya Prathamesh is already trying to help, uh, I guess. Mosam, once you've created the app, uh, you can just uh, start your web app uh, server using run server command and then run the, uh, run the uh, server in your browser. I'll publish a command list again. Okay, for uh, for Sobhagya, who still keeps getting some sort of an error connection refused, can you please try HTTP? Uh, can you please try HTTPS? You you're doing an HTTP. Please, can you try HTTPS? If that doesn't work, can you please try localhost as one of the options? Mossam, can you please uh, add the name to add the app name to installed apps and then follow from there? Abhishek, if you remember, you created a super user using create super user command and then you typed in a username and password. You will be using that to log in again. If you not created a super user, just create one. The commands have already been put up on the chat. Just look at the create super user command, run it, put in your username and password. If you left it blank, then you will uh, uh, machine, uh, machine user. I, yeah, it's terminal okay, user. So any uh, your, your your username that you see on your folder or wherever on your login login page in your computer that is being used. Uh, if you don't know what your username is, etc., etc., just run the command again and add in a proper username this time. It'll create a new user, a second user, and you will be able to use that. Correct. So Mossam, you are able to run things properly. Please try to access uh, the admin URL. Can you can you create a super user, please? And then uh, you can't name your app. You have to add the name of your app in install apps. So what is the name of your app? Your app is library underscore manager. Please add that to install apps. Please add it in quotes. Please save the file and run your server again. Sir, uh, the work we have done today, uh, there's nothing specific about uh, library management. Probably any web app which we developed by Python would have same settings. Is that yes. your assessment? Correct. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Yes, Savini, can you please try HTTPS localhost 8000 slash admin? If that is not working, then try 8080. Savini, is your server running? Can you check in your command line console that the server is running? Mosan, the URL is what I just gave below. Can you please use that? 
Yeah, can we show the terminal where the server is running? Yeah, can you show the terminal where the server is running? Command prompt. Yeah, you need to run the server. So, yeah, can you do dir once? And enter. Yeah, so then Python space manage dot py space run server. Manage manage spelling. You can make a tab. Okay. Yeah, now you can go there and refresh on the browser. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Uh, Yashavani, uh, if I'm pronouncing right, uh, can you share your screen if there is a problem? Yes, sir. Just a minute. Thank you. Sir, can you see the screen? Yes, yes, I can see. Can you go to the browser? Oh, okay. You're, you're running it on the 8000 port. So you need to give 8000. Uh, can you hear me? Ah, yes, sir. I can hear you. Yeah, you can see at the bottom there is a, yeah. Uh, okay, okay. Wait, wait. Don't scroll. Don't scroll. You can see that line starting developing server at HTTP 127, that line, up, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you can see colon, that is the port number. So you need to give 8000 as the port number. Let's go to the browser. Yeah, yeah, now you can, uh, yeah, go to that uh, URL. So you can simply, yeah, yeah, it's working. This one, sir? Yeah, this is the URL, 127.0.0.8000. You can write slash, yeah, after that uh, slash admin, it will work. Acha, can you, uh, uh, okay, yeah. Can do it again. Yeah. Maybe the Isn't super user all the people was not run. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that is not a problem. That is not a problem. Uh, on the browser, uh, it should, it's waiting for play.google.com, I don't know, but yeah. Can you uh, go to the web browser, admin thing, that thing? This one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Simply, uh, uh, yeah, type uh, localhost. Uh, Shall I create a new one and type? Yeah, yeah, fine, fine. Yeah, close the other ones, like, not required. It will get confused. Yeah, so local host colon eight thousand. Yeah. Oh, it will go to Google search. Enter. I think it will go for Google search. It's running, I guess. Can you open some random website like uh, at the site like Google.com? Anything, anything you can type. Okay, this is, so I don't think that is the problem. Yeah, you can close this. Hmm, this is strange. I'm ah, waiting for local host. Now it is showing at the bottom. It's taking too much time. I, can you press control R? Uh, yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, I pressed, sir. Okay, it is showing waiting for local. Uh, do one thing, uh, restart your server, go to the terminal. The issue, yeah, uh, press control C, exit, just uh, exit from here. Yeah, now it came. <laughs> okay, so you can go back. Uh, yeah, and then slash admin after 8000. That's the URL for admin. Okay. Enter. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. The yeah server was uh, hanged like ah, a yes. lot of I think HTTPS request you had sent, so it was. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thank cool. you, sir. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So we don't have anything else to sort of set up or discuss. 
uh, like I mentioned, we did sort of go a little off track from the schedule. We were supposed to complete uh, functions as a module at 245, but I thought that uh, we could sort of complete the whole setup before we did this. So we are actually done with uh, today's schedule in general, but there is functions and modules that are the two yucks chapter that you need to complete. Please complete them and any other pending chapter before you come in tomorrow. So in, in uh, to, a, to be able to view older commands again, uh, Linux has a hist, hist command, history or hist command. Uh, I don't know what, what it is for, for Windows. You can just go back, scroll back and, and make a note of it. I'm sorry, there's no uh, specific uh, command that I know in Windows for that. So Jyoti had a question as to if there is a library for directory structure management for backup program creation. Uh, I do not know of a specific uh, library, but given that Python has a lot of small, small libraries that people do make for their own purposes, it is very likely that such a kind of a library exists because backup creation is a very common uh, issue that everyone has. Python does have uh, the OS library and uh, more libraries within it in built that allow you to create a program that will make backups for you. So for example, if you want to just crawl through your file st structure and create uh, like tar files out of it or zip files out of it, then that is possible with using pure Python scripts as well. But I'm not sure for a specific library that does it. Sorry. Any other questions? We are still around for maybe say five more minutes. And then uh, we will sign off from the live session, uh, but uh, you can continue with modules if you want to. For people facing problems with the 127 URL, this has to do something with your network settings in local. I'm not sure how to solve this. Uh, I'll try to Google around and see if I can find a solution for Windows. And maybe we can discuss it tomorrow if you still face the same problem. No, this is not about Wi-Fi. So 127.0.0 is, is an IP that points to your own um, how can you say it? Your own public address of your computer. It is sort of a loopback address for the public facing interface of your computer. Uh, if it is not accessible, there is sometimes an issue with your network settings. Somebody is saying there's a port already in use. Then you are already running the server somewhere else. Yeah, Rohan, uh, can you go to the terminals, all the terminals that are open? Yeah. So, okay. So previously, uh, you had uh, you were able to run this uh, server, right? One twenty seven local yes, eight thousand. Yeah. So means uh, the it is somewhere running uh, in the background. Uh, so what you can do? Uh, try pressing Control C again. Couple of times. What happens? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you can press up arrow and run the command again. Yeah, uh, press up arrow means like the same uh, run server command again. Yeah, uh, press enter. Yeah, so it's already running. So what you can do, control C. Uh, is there any other terminal that is open somewhere? No, sir. Okay, uh, what you do, uh, close this session. Uh, so get out of this uh, exit. Uh. Okay, uh, yeah, then anyway, yeah, this won't work. This won't work. You need to again open the terminal from the Anaconda navigator. Yeah, yeah you can go to uh, yeah, CD to your project library management. So LS, uh, what is there? Uh, is there library management? Uh, yeah, you can No, It's library. So what is the folder you had created? Do you remember? Library management. 
sorry what library management yeah but uh, in which uh, directory you had created don't know sir okay press ls space yeah so what you do is uh, you go uh, uh, yeah back uh, into say undo that ls and type cd space library management yeah tab you can use tab to auto complete tab will help you if, if you do tab not r sir not r tab karo tab nahi ho raha hai kya to pura type karna padega library management underscore management Hmm. Enter. Yeah. Now uh, Python space manage dot py space run server run server spelling. Enter. Okay. Uh, press up arrow. Uh, space. Uh, type eighty eighty eight zero eight zero. Eight eight zero eight zero. Yeah, eight zero. Enter. So what we are doing is we are running this in on on different port. Okay, this is something what we can do. But uh, later, okay, you just uh, close everything, restart your system. The Eight uh, thousand port will that uh, message will go. The port is already in. now. You go to the browser, uh, web browser. Yeah, instead of eight thousand, you can do eighty. Uh, eighty eighty. The port number only you have to change. No, it was already there, no? No, no, no. Both are na. Ha, either it eighty eighty karo eight thousand ke jaga. One, no, 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 no. Only eighty. Yeah. Yeah. Enter. See here. Yeah. And now slash admin also you can do. Um. The yeah URL. Uh. No. Control Z. Yeah. Okay. Nice. After yeah. Ah uh, yes sir. Yeah. Yeah. So we have only Thank changed you. the port. Currently it is used somewhere. Uh. That you can figure out. That's a operating system thing. You can close, uh, shut your thing, restart. It will just vanish. Not a problem. Okay. Okay. Pass. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, so I have a, a little bit of doubt. Uh, okay. So after uh, logging through my username and password, uh, while I'm trying to create uh, or fill some data, it's not uh, responding. Uh, due to some because I have not added code or so where are you trying to add information? Uh, after uh, logins in the ad uh, Django administration, yeah. In the admin panel, yes, sir, yes, in the admin panel. So inside which option in the users groups where? Uh, both, sir. I have tried on both the options. So what is the error? Like what happened? You couldn't save. What what went wrong? Uh, so it's not opening. Basically, it's uh, uh, going and on and on, but it's not opening. No, so it is possible that you shut off your server. Maybe can you please check in your console if your server is running? Go back to your admin interface, re refresh it. Should work. Uh, so it's it's running, sir. Somebody is running, and so now it's working, sir. Okay. Thank you. 